All right, so I just got my hands on the latest T-Mobile Home Internet 5G gateway that they just released here uh, in late summer of 2025, and that is the G5 AR gateway. It looks almost exactly like the G4 AR gateway, but this is the older one. It's been out, I think, a couple years now, and I've had it and tested it. So lo and behold, here is the G5 AR gateway now. It's a little bit bigger of a form factor. It's more squarish, and it has some key differences and a lot of similarities to the G4 AR. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about the features, or of course have to check out the speed because that's what everyone cares about, and other hardware features about this gateway. Now there are several uh, key features. I'm probably about three or four, I would say, main ones that are going to have the biggest difference to your performance. And on this G5 AR, it has a different modem in it. They're both MediaTek modems. And this one has a T830 modem in it. And this other one has a MediaTek T750. So there's just different generations. And they use um, some more 5G capability on this G5 AR one. And the main feature I would say that probably, hopefully, should be beneficial is the upload switching that they have enabled on this modem which should help out with your upload speed so for me especially uh, with the g4 ar even really the other gateways as well my upload could sometimes be very poor i might just get two megabits per second upload or three megabits per second upload but i might get a couple hundred megabits per second download with just the gateway in some places of my house and this supposedly will uh, help address that with this latest modem and some of their their features so i'm going to test that of course um, the other thing that it has is wi-fi 7. so wi-fi 7 is the latest protocol for wi-fi uh, the g4 ar has wi-fi 6. so really what that means is the wi-fi 7 should give you more coverage and more speed uh, it adds another um, six gigahertz uh, frequency on there for faster speed. So if you are lucky enough that you get really fast download speed, which I have gotten over one gigabits per second of speed here in my house with T-Mobile Home Internet. Now I typically use uh, another gateway and um, an external antenna, but I'm able to get that speed. Wi-Fi 7 can support that, whereas Wi-Fi 6 probably cannot support uh, much faster than that. So um, that's uh, two key features. But the other one is on the back side of the units here. And if you read anything online, uh, this is probably the most common talked about thing. Down here in the bottom of this G4 AR, these uh, gold plated um, connectors that I added on, just 90 degree connectors, these are external antenna uh, ports so you can add easily an external antenna like this one right here which is a waveform quad mini antenna they have a quad pro they have a uh, another one a um, i can add something like the waveform quad mini right here uh, very easily jump simply by screwing these um, connectors into here and then you can switch the settings in here to go to external antenna they also have a quad pro and other antennas that really do help me get faster speed i have videos on you know the performance difference i get with adding an antenna um, but the big downside to the g5 ar doesn't have them um, otherwise it has basically the same layout it has two uh, ethernet ports two lan ports on there it has a usb which is the power port it has another usb that's not really used i think it's for flashing the unit it's got a reset button and then it does have a physical sim card that is at least a big saving grace um, t-mobile so far fingers crossed, has kept up with using a physical SIM card um, and that allows you to take the SIM card out and put it somewhere else if you really want to. So I have other uh, gateways, many other gateways that I have been using. Uh, this one here is one of the uh, gateways from Chester Tech Repairs. I really like uh, his stuff that he uh, provides a lot of support for it and I'm able to literally take that SIM card out, uh, put it in the back of this unit and then I'm able to uh, do all kind of advanced features like band locking, uh, tower locking. I can switch um, from 5G to LTE and other settings there. Um, so that is um, still at least a savings grace that it has a, a physical SIM, whereas AT&T and Verizon ones typically do not. So um, that's really uh, the high level. I think the button interface is going to be very similar. Um, what I'm going to do is let me test the speed down here. I'm in my basement. 
typically my speed is very poor down here so i just want to see if i'm in a very poor location with signal is there a big difference between the g4 ar and the g5 ar all right so they are both uh, powered up and they both show i believe three out of five bars and say good but i think they're both lying to us <laughs> so uh, let's go in here and see now what i'm going to use is my tablet to connect to each one individually and get some information about the signal and then do speed test all right so now of course you can use the t-mobile t-life app which is what t-mobile wants you to use to connect to these and you can get um, information about them um, but a better app is actually this hint control app now i've already logged into this so it's already saved it on me but otherwise you can get the admin um, password on the back of here so when you do this you just be connected to your wi-fi and this gives me a better layout here of telling me what's connected all at once and more information in here uh, for the exact signal so this one is the g5 ar and you can see i'm on band n71 you can see there on the top right that i have a minus 102 rsrp which is not great the color coding is telling you if it's green is obviously good orange yellow is um, you know medium and then uh, red is bad so you see the red is my signal to noise ratio and that one is you really want it above above 20 ideally but uh, at least double digits above 10 or so um, means that you're getting a better signal that's going to really help your speed now by seeing that it's just on 5g and no lte connected that means i'm on 5g sa or 5g standalone uh, which is both good and bad and then it tells you some other information in here as well about your unit. You can go in here and Wi-Fi, change your Wi-Fi settings. Uh, so on this G5 AR, like I said, it has three different uh, radios. It has 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and the 6 gigahertz. So I can go in here and hit edit, and I could change um, these uh, between, I you know, I can turn off a like 6 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, and this would just become a 2.4 gigahertz um, um, radio and then I could add a 5 gigahertz separately and a 6 gigahertz separately if I wanted to um, in here. But let's go in here to a speed test and just see what the G5 AR gives us when we are down here in the basement. It's not going to be good. Um, that I already know especially on the upload side. In fact it might not even work. We'll see. Okay so it is actually working um, but obviously this is not great speed. Again, this is not surprising to me because I'm in the basement. In fact, I would say this is actually a little bit more usable than I was even thinking. It might be down here in the basement. So G5 AR, you know, and I have to say the pings are actually pretty good for how slow this is. Um, the pings are actually pretty reasonable in there. So now I'm going to switch over to the G4 AR Wi-Fi. Okay, so now I'm on the G4 AR and you can see here my RSRP there is minus 109. My RSRQ is minus 14 there. The signal to noise is minus one. Uh, so that's not great. We definitely don't want um, uh, signal to noise down there in the negative numbers. We don't even really want it below 10. Uh, the higher, the better for that one. And um, this one again with the hint control app, you can change different settings. I can go in here to the Wi-Fi. I can change them. Uh, you can see the settings are a little bit different uh, on the G4 AR versus the G5. And then you can, um, these other settings are for the app itself. So let me go back into the speed test app and run a speed test. Let's turn the great sign. Hopefully it will connect. Um, and let's run a speed test. Okay, so this is a very clear example of what I was talking about earlier, where the one feature of the modem that this G5 AR should help with is the upload. And it certainly did help with that. You know, if I compare uh, the download, G4AR was 13. I think before this one was like 17. So G5AR is better, but not, you know, crazy amount better. But then on the upload, upload side, 0.66 versus what it was like uh, 3 or 4 uh, megabits per second. Um, that's a big difference because 0.66 is basically not really usable. Um, it's, it's terrible. Uh, 3 is not great either, but 3 at least is... Uh, usable for at least web surfing and that kind of stuff it's not going to be uploading um, video conferencing that kind of stuff uh, for you but most users are more of a download uh, consumer than an upload consumer so um, let me do a uh, couple tests just to make sure i you know get a good sample size so i'll run each one a couple times and we'll kind of compare 
G4 versus G5. Okay, well that was pretty consistent there at um, about 14 or so down and about one up. So that is G4 AR performance. And let's go back to our G5 AR performance and see what it gets after running just a couple more tests here. Alright, so there we go. So the G5 AR was also pretty consistent there and um, it's a little bit faster than it was um, just a m moment ago. So now low 20s, maybe it's for a second for down and 4 to 5 up. Um, that is definitely a step up from the G4 AR. So from an outright side-by-side -side comparison uh, with poor signal uh, down here in the basement, the G5 AR is a clear winner. Let's go upstairs where I know I get better signal. I can do more carrier aggregation and see how fast they do at um, uh, at a higher end uh, signal. Okay, so now I'm up in my third floor loft. I am connected to the G4 AR. It's right beside the G5 AR. And um, they it appears right now, at least on the screen, that the G5 AR has a better signal than the G4 AR because the G4 is switching between good and very good, whereas the G5 AR is staying on as always very good. But that's why we can look in here on the hint control app to see what um, this says. Now, what this is showing me is that the G4 AR is only on 5G. Uh, it's in 41, which is a, a good band. Um, that's better than the N71 from a speed standpoint. And uh, you can see, though, that our you know signal uh, strength is not the best, um, but our signal to noise is pretty dang good. Um, so that's a nice um, improvement versus the basement. So this just goes to show you how different um, signal can be in the same location. I'm literally just, well, I am like three floors up. Um, that is a big driver in what type of signal you get. So let's go do a speed test. All right, so this is the G4AR with its stock internal antennas up on the third floor. And obviously you can see we are a good 10x improvement in speed for download versus um, the basement. But again, here for the upload, even though it's drastically, I guess it is still a 10x improvement uh, versus the um, the basement, but we're still not having great upload. I would still like to have more. You know, seven is still not that great. I'll do one more test just to kind of verify to make sure we're getting some consistent speed here. All right, so that switch that just happened was me flipping from internal to external antenna. And you can see that my um, signals instantly got much better uh, when I went to the external antenna. The external antenna is a waveform quad pro. I have 30 feet of cabling that sends it from, and it's um, in my attic space. So it's not even outside. It is better to go outside, but now I want to see how does that, um, change my speed so I think it was just 280 and 6 give or take um, on the internal antenna and just flipping it over not doing anything not even resetting or restarting the gateway we got up to 340 and then lo and behold this is probably my biggest um, difference I see with um, an external antenna is my upload is finally very usable um, so this is a big difference and you know if you think about it if the gateway was located in the basement and my antenna was up here, I would have, you know, my antenna speed would still be the same because the antenna is exactly where it's at in the attic. Um, so if your house gets poor signal down wherever you want to put the gateway, if you can get a cable out and um, where a antenna can be placed with good signal, you can also improve your signal this much as well. So let me just run another test to verify performance. All right, there we go. Uh, very nice improvement. Let's switch over to the G5 AR. All right, so now we're on the G5 AR and you can see up here, it's on 5G SA as well in 41. And then uh, now the one thing it doesn't show you is how many 5G SA bands you're connected to. You most likely are connected to more than just this one in 41. 
but you can see my signal to noise as far as uh, right off the top of my head it looks like it's fairly similar uh, maybe a little bit better than the g4 ar was if i recall correctly but really what matters the most is the speed so let's go in here and run now obviously this is the g5 ar internal antennas not with any external antennas okay i have to say i am impressed this is a um a pretty big improvement over the g4 ar uh stock to stock this is uh this is surprising i'm not um um, expecting to see that big of an increase in speed um, out of the stock gateway. All right, well, it uh, it backed it up with another run. So this is something that um, obviously this G5 AR has got some hidden magic in it that it has drastically improved its performance. Now, I know that the Hint app is not giving me all the information on what carrier aggregation it can do, but um, on first blush, this G5 AR looks like it has um, some good capability built in. I cannot wait. I need to put a extra antenna on this guy and see what kind of speed I can get um, by improving its signal even further. All right, so that speed testing was actually pretty surprising to me. I was not expecting it to um, be that big of a jump. And the other thing that really highlights is the difference in location of the unit so obviously I was getting like 17 megabits per second down on this unit down here in the basement but I go up uh, a couple floors and my speed drastically improved I was getting like over 600 megabits per second on one of those speed tests um, with the same unit same sim you know same service um, and you can't say deprioritization or anything like that so that is a um, good demonstration of that and then it also tells me that this modem would have a lot of extra capability if I was able to add an extra antenna. So naturally we're going to have to do that. Here's another gateway. This one's from Verizon, but you can see this one I modified to get these extra antenna ports where you have to take apart the case and then you get in there onto the board and put these little pigtails on so I can connect it to an antenna. So naturally I'm going to try to look into that to see if I can do that on this guy and then, um, Potentially, we'll do some tests there and see what kind of performance change we can get out of that as well. So uh, if you have any questions about this gateway, you want me to do some other type of testing or, or look into a comparison, uh, now's a great time to ask me when I have both of them active and working. Uh, so put it in the comment down below. And then, of course, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button for this video. Consider subscribing to my channel. That really does help the channel grow and uh, me keep doing this. So uh, thanks for staying uh, along till the end and then we'll catch you next time. So if you like my channel and you want to see more, you can click on any one of these uh, four buttons here and to see more videos.